MC Oluamon no day here. No ballot snatching. Nigerians and the UK speak about the election. A video circulating showing Nigerians speaking about the experience during the 2024 UK elections. On Thursday, July 4th, 2024, the United Kingdom held the election to determine their next prime minister. During the voting process, some Nigerians in the UK shared a video of themselves talking about how the voting went in the area. In the video, a young man mentioned that there was peace and tranquility because the chairman of the National Union of Road Transport Workers, NURTW, Lagos chapter, was not present. Another man mentioned that there was no ballot snatching during the voting and the process was smooth. So, Tony Kabaka, MC Oluomanodi here, no ballot snatching. Their comments sparked laughter among those present and received significant reactions from social media users. Recall that during the 2023 general election, there were reports of ballot snatching, violence, and other irregularities. There were also reports of MC Oluomo being present at the voting center, preventing some people from voting for their preferred candidate. Here are some reactions on social media. I love what they're doing. A social media user commented, Make shame catch our leaders in Nigeria. If not Nigeria now, then for don't put tear gas for people's face. I'm not opined, good name is better than riches. Another commented, No Tony Kabaka, no M. Soluomo, peaceful election. Another opined, M. Soluomo should cover his face in shame wherever he is. Another commented, She has election this week for Western countries, but for my country, you're going to need to wear a good running sneakers. You must be fully at a lot, ready to run, or then blind with your eye, then blind your eye with one blue. Another opinion. Now this is to me instead of finding it finding it shame uh, what's it called? Funny, I'm finding it very shameful. We have been independent for sixty plus years, yeah? Is it 50 plus? 50 plus. We have been independent for 50 plus years. And yet we cannot seem to get things right. Imagine an adult who is over 50. An adult who is over 50 and has refused to get his shit together. Just imagine that adult. How in family members go use the look on. They go look on like one useless person. It's not funny. It is most repulsive, this information. It reminded me of how many people died. They were not mentioned in the news. River State, Lagos State, other states they did not even mention. And some people are using it to brag till today that they are the election riggers. That 2027, say some people go run, they no go in, they, they go feel. In fact, oh God. Eh? Like I said, it is shameful. They should bury their head in shame. This is the reason why Nigeria is not digitalized. If a lot of if Nigeria was digitalized, do you think this kind of thing will happen? Of course not. Nigeria is not digitalized because this is what they want. Nigeria is still using pen and paper in this age and time. You go to school, you know, you have to show your card. You understand? Oh, don't enter here. They say we should wait here. They are going to verify us. You see them using paper to mark attendance. When you go just, you know, they go just. In fact, ah, a lot of things are wrong. A whole lot of things are wrong. Oh, somebody came in. We did not know. Meanwhile, there should be a scan check. Like maybe an exam hall. I don't know how to say this, but Nigeria is the level where it is today because that is what our politicians want. They know if things are being done rightly, they're going to lose. I don't know whether they have a deal with the devil. Sincerely, these people, the more I remember it, the more 
I am playing, replaying, as I am talking, I am replaying the visuals of what happened in 2027. How many people had to fight? How many times people had to run? How many times people had to fight just to do the right thing, to vote? And after doing that, what happened? Is it the judicial process they made a total mess of? Is it that they gave wings to people who are not even supposed to have feathers in this country? There's some people that are not even supposed to even be even counselor. What am I saying? They're not even supposed to be listened to. They are in government today because of rigging. There's some people who we are not even supposed to call these people human because this person a human being. Because of rigging, the person is still in power today. And the person is making life a living hell for others. Hmm. Nigeria is not at the same level with UK. Nigeria is far away from developing. It is the same all over African countries that Nigeria, only Nigeria case is terrible. To be honest with you, Tembera in Lagos State popularized and legalized ballot box and snacks in San So, some other state follows. Only divine inter intervention now in Nigeria. More so, we must be praying for God fearing chairman of INEC and not shameless money monger, highly corrupted Makubu Mahmoud. You see, this thing you said is what is the problem. Uh, we must it is God intervention. I put it to us that we are not ready. If me and you we are ready for a Nigeria of peace, a Nigeria where the law is above others, I don't care if your son name is Tunumbu, it does not mean whether your son name bears any other power monger name, my dear. The law is the law. I don't care whether you belong to you are you are you are you are the direct power source in this country, the president, whoever. If you want a Nigeria like that, we know what to do. It is not by saying God will help. It is not by saying God should intervene. We have hands, we have legs. I've told us, look into the history of countries that are standing today. I hate to say this, but things happen. They fought for it. People paid the price for it. This one we are coming here saying, you should help, go with help, this one will help. Check countries that are doing fine today. They did not pray their way out. I'm not saying prayer is not important, but even prayer without actions, as a Christian, <laughs> you are left with nothing. Nothing happens, nothing changes for you, except you change. Make I give and I make I give and I one, make and I use my whole body. Until that time, make everybody enjoy the shit. All right, on this whole we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for sitting in to listen. Until I come to you next time, enjoy the rest of your day.